Hey Cancer, it's Suzanne with Sunny Force Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you. Um, these readings this week are a little bit longer. Alright, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a comparison of somebody in your life, and it's up to you to determine who that is. Will be represented below. And then above will represent you all right um we're gonna take a look at beliefs vibration for each of you and doubts right here okay so beliefs are definitely anchored in the past in some way okay so this might be explaining your past in some way. This might be explaining your person's past in some way. Whoever this is, a friend, a relationship, a connection, a love, um, you know, whatever it is to you. In the middle, vibration, your energy right now. So what you're projecting and relating and communicating right now. What they're relating, communicating right now. And then doubts. Where do the doubts, um, you know, where does the doubt tend to grow for you? Where, what contributes to the doubts, okay? If you, if you have any, all right? Um, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start with whoever it is that you're thinking about first, all right? So this is beliefs for this person, six of wands. All right, so whoever this is, um, I feel like I feel like they have whoever this is has had um, some decent relationships in their life, okay, um, that has fulfilled them in an external way and in an internal way. I feel like they're looking at relationships from a positive perspective. So let's see what this belief stems from, okay? So we have the Hermit, Virgo energy here. So I feel like this person has or has a really good balance of being able to not talk out of turn. Um, this is somebody that is probably a good listener, but this is also somebody that needs their their time or their space alone. So that's definitely something to be mindful of, of whoever this is for you. This again might be a Virgo, might be a fire sign. All right, so let's see why this belief system for this person is important. And then we have Queen of Swords. Okay. So I feel like this person doesn't stay in relationships any longer than makes sense to them. This person will end a relationship if it's not serving them anymore. Um, <clears throat> they don't believe in staying in a relationship beyond its course, okay? So that might be important for you to know, all right, um, for whatever reason. So let's look at the energy that this person currently has. All right. So we have three of swords. You know, I was feeling from this queen of swords here, which is Libra energy. You might be dealing with a Libra. I'm feeling like something has shifted or ended for this person recently. Okay. Um, and this might be between you and this person. This person um, definitely has some hard feelings, whether it's a relationship with you that has taken a break or ended or with somebody else. Um, you know, with the Six of Wands being in this person's belief system, you know, I feel like they they take their time to grieve and then they, they move on. I don't feel like they carry like, I don't think this is somebody that um, brings their exes along for the ride. So when they're done with somebody, they're done with somebody. 
And that also might be important information for you to know. Um, but yeah, Queen of Swords also says that this person, you, you know, um, when it comes to their beliefs, that's why I'm saying that when they're done, they're done because the Queen of Swords, you know, will close down her heart completely when she's done with something, you know, and Hermit energy and Queen of Swords, you, this person is perfectly okay on their own. They're perfectly okay on their own. I feel like they prefer to be in a relationship with the Six of Wands, but I do feel like they're looking for something that they haven't found yet. So let's look at this Three of Swords. What, you know, how is this person relating the Three of Swords to you? Ooh, lovers. All right. So the one thing that I would say to, to be mindful of I don't feel like it's something that would go as far as a warning, but this person is relating to you from the standpoint of the lovers. So this person is attracted to you. This person is interested. Um, this might be, you know, something that's happened kind of fast and furious, but I do feel like this person has residual feelings okay, that they are trying to get over. I don't feel like they're thinking about going backwards, um, but they might be using a new relationship a little bit to, to move forward. It's not to say that, you know, there's really anything wrong with that, but it's definitely something that you might want to be mindful of. So what is this person communicating? Wow, King of Pentacles. So this person more than likely is probably a giver, okay? They're looking to, I feel like, the, like I said, the hermit energy, which is Virgo energy, now king of pentacles, Taurus energy. This person is good on their own. They're grounded. They know what they want in life. Um, king of pentacles energy, what this person is communicating to you, verbally, non-verbally, whatever, they have a lot to offer. They have a lot to give. This person, I feel like, feels mature, whether this person is a feminine or a masculine. You know, I feel like they've got, um, I feel like they've got their stuff together in life. So that's good. <clears throat> this person definitely is in the vibration of, of wanting relationship, but I feel like it's mainly to, not mainly, but it is partially to help them get over something that was a bit of a heartbreak to them. So asking them questions a little bit about their most recent relationship might be a good thing to do just to let them talk it out. And so it's not something that has to be hidden. <clears throat> All right. It's not because you're so super curious or jealous or anything like that, but just just to find out a little bit about how recent this was. All right, so over here we have doubts. So what, if this person doubts at all, let's see where it comes from. Ah, hmm. Knight of Wands, energy of Sagittarius. So that's why, you know, I'm feeling kind of cautious with the lovers because um, you could see that the Knight of Wands is directed towards the past, all right? King of uh, Pentacles is looking towards the future. Queen of Swords is looking towards the future. I overall feel like when this person is done with something, they're done with it. But there is some residual because Knight of Wands, you know, has a little bit of that um, non-committal energy, not necessarily knowing what direction they're going in. Um, so they really, they kind of doubt, this might be somebody that you don't know very well yet. This is somebody that wants to get to know you, but doesn't know you extremely well yet. So um, this person might be open to dating more than one person. So just be, be mindful of that. <clears throat> so let's see what grows this doubt or squelches this doubt. All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's why, that's why I just said, 
I think it's important to ask this person a little bit about their, their last relationship. It might be more recent than you know, okay? Because I feel like this person, whoever it is, holds a lot back right now in their, as far as what's going on in their physical world. This might be a situation where they're literally going through some type of ending or breakup as they're getting to know you. Okay, it feels it feels really recent, all right? So let's take a look at what contributes to this doubt. And then we have the Five of Swords. So um, this could literally be a divorce, okay? This could be somebody that's going through a divorce, okay? Because Five of Swords, this person is in some type of... Um, fight right now that they're holding back and you know knight of wands is definitely the energy of wanting freedom and you know not necessarily knowing where their heart is completely committed right now so that's where their doubt is okay but I do feel like they're moving forward based on what we're seeing here they are moving forward and they do have their sights set on you here in some way but I feel like it's, it's definitely wise to ask this person some questions just to see how they're doing, where they're at, um, why they might be holding back. They might feel like, well, you know, I don't really want to involve, um, I don't really want to involve cancer in this if I don't have to. And that's where I feel like the maturity comes in. I don't feel like this person is trying to create any drama or, you know, it feels like they know it's done. They want to move on, but they might still be in the middle of it a little bit. Okay. All right. So up here for you, let's look at your beliefs, your belief system. Three of cups. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. This could literally be somebody who um, has been a friend to you for a while. You might have been um, someone who listened to this person for, you know, for a significant amount of time. You might know exactly what we're talking about here. And the reason I say that is because the Three of Cups really can um, speak to friendship, to lovers, um, and lovers to a very peaceful connection that's meant to be celebrated. Um, but your, your belief is that typically friendship is the best way to start a relationship. And I feel like that might be what has happened here. Okay, so maybe this isn't an actual romance or relationship yet but it's growing to be or it's going to be um, let's see what this belief stems from two of pentacles all right this might be um, a little bit of a pattern for you at different points in your life you might find yourself being that that shoulder to cry on for somebody and that might be how some of your relationships have developed but what happens is there's a period of time where you are one of two options and that's not something that you're going for that's not something you might be asking yourself why does this keep happening to me you know, and even if it works out into, you know, a nice relationship for a while or even into a marriage, <clears throat> it definitely starts off, it starts off like this. And you know what? And for that matter, so many times when we get into relationships, it starts off like that without us even knowing it. But I feel like you know it. Okay. Um, so why... Why is your belief system here important? Okay, tower. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, you have a belief system here that 
it's perfectly normal and okay for a friendship to evolve into a love relationship, which of course it is. Um, but there's a period of time, two of pentacles, where you find yourself being one of two options for a particular person. And you also believe that and that two of pentacles energy that might be that might be hidden. Okay, that might be something that's going on in the background while somebody, you know, is trying to work through an ending of a relationship. You might be, you might find yourself in that transitional relationship quite a bit. Like you're waiting in the wings for somebody to be free. Um, the tower. I feel like you, you typically win that battle of two of pentacles. People typically do move towards you. They do choose you. They do get into a relationship with you. And I feel like there's a part of you that likes or enjoys the unexpected nature of how your relationships begin. The unexpected nature of how your relationships begin. You, this is a pattern for you. Okay. <clears throat> now, in a general reading... This might be you, and this might be somebody else, okay? So it might be swapped for you if you're finding that this person down here resonated more with you. All right, so let's see what it is that this person up here, which more than likely is you, um, let's see what your energy or vibration is. Devil. <clears throat> All right. So Capricorn energy. So we have Capricorn energy. We've got Sag energy. We have Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, and then Capricorn. So this is the energy, okay, that you are putting out there. So that says that there's some type of bond here, but this bond is probably like, you know, this person has the lover's energy, which is soulmate energy towards you. You have the devil towards them, which is actually soulmate energy as well. It's the shadow side of the lovers. Okay, so this could be a situation. This could be a twin situation, okay? Um, you know, you are giving a mirror image to this person. They are giving a mirror image to you, the light and the dark or the dark and the light. Um, <clears throat> there's something, um, there's something in your vibration and it's tied to your beliefs. It's definitely tied to your beliefs. Um, let's see. How are you relating this energy? Page of Swords. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here with the Page of Swords, be very careful, okay, if you are talking about this situation with other people. I do feel like there's a path back to this person. So be careful if you're talking about this. I feel like it's something that is supposed to remain private. So be careful if you're talking about it. Page of Swords can be uh, a little bit of a gossipy energy, a little bit of an energy of letting other people into our business, inviting people in, um, sharing our deep, dark truth, okay? And then it gets shared again and again and again. So be careful who you share this with because Page of Swords energy is immature energy. So only the immature tend to gossip. So let's see what else you're communicating here. Wow, Queen of Wands. So, Queen of Wands is the only queen that's single, okay? And sometimes, depending on what cards are surrounding her, um, she can be seen as, you know, the other woman. I don't feel like this situation is that, but I feel like gossip could create that situation because... This, for some reason, doesn't feel completely done, or if it is, it's very recent. So I feel like that's why um, if you're transitioning into um, 
a romance with somebody who recently got out of something, it's like you really don't want to, you don't want to be known as the other woman, all right? So finally, your doubts here. We've got Queen of Swords. Interesting. <clears throat> Where do you have doubts? You have doubts. We have Queen of Swords on both sides here. <clears throat> now, it's in this person's belief system. So, you know, when this person says they're done, they're done. And I feel like that's important for you to hear. Um, because that's something that you tend to doubt. And you might have good reason for doubting that. Um, you know, because people might have told you that in the past. But the way that you get involved with people, because it might be very recent after somebody else ends something with another person, you question whether or not they're really over it. Okay? So let's see what tends to grow this type of doubt for you. All right, so we have another three card, three of pentacles. All right, so that tells me that um, chances are you might be in the vicinity of this person's ex. So you are aware that this person might be around their ex periodically or you might even know this person's ex. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like the less you're around this person's ex, the better, because I do feel like this person's done with them. They're done with them. All right? But it does contribute to your doubts as to whether or not your person has completely cut them off. Right? Queen of Swords. So let's see, what contributes to this? Okay, wow, King of Cups. King of Cups is a card of Cancer, okay? So really what is contributing ultimately to any doubts that you have with the situation is you. And the fact that, you know, you do have a cup of love for whoever this is. This is. And I don't feel like you have fully shared it as of right now. Okay, I feel like a very hopeful energy up here, and I feel a very hopeful energy down here, too. Um, again, I feel like this person tends to be very mature, and when something's over, when it's done, it's done. That definitely came through right from the beginning. All right. All right, so let's see. We're going to get a couple of Oracle cards. All right, so one for you. Well, actually, one for the connection right here. And then we're going to get one for the person on the bottom and one for the person on the top, which is probably you. All right, so let's see. Look at that. Sun. Happiness. Joy. So... Whatever, whatever this devil energy is for you, I do. I feel like it's a, it's a soul bond that the reason that the devil is showing up here is because there's, <clears throat> there's probably some type of secretive energy around this connection in some way. Again, you might know the person that, um, that your person is ending things with is what I feel like. The sun is the essence of happiness and joy. And, you know, I do feel like that is coming from this person. Um, this is also masculine energy. So it's also can be Leo energy. But it's like, I do feel like whoever the masculine is here, which is more than likely the person on the bottom, uh, I do feel like they find happiness and joy with you. So advice here would be don't let your don't let your doubts run away with you. Doubts are what can be changed. Doubts are what can be changed. Doubts are future energy. You know, doubts are, you know, 
you know, I doubt I'm going to be able to lose weight. I'm, I doubt I'm going to get this job. I doubt I'm going to be able to move to the coast. I doubt I'm going to have enough um, money to purchase this house. All of those are literally choices to think a certain way. So you can change how you're thinking and make different choices to eliminate doubt, okay? All right, so over here, what do we have for this person? What does this person maybe need more of? Self-love. It says, let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. All right, so this person, the only, the only downside to jumping right into a new connection or relationship as, as good as it may be, and it may feel right because the two of you might have been friends for quite a while, <clears throat> is that this person may not take the full time they need to heal. So another piece of advice would probably be not to rush this because I feel like it's coming regardless. So don't rush it because this person, you know, might have gotten a little beat up in this last relationship, not physically, but emotionally. Okay. And let's see for you, what do you need more of here? Sacrifice. A willingness to wait is what I'm feeling from this card. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go, and I feel like that is happening. Illusions, obsessions, addic addictions. It is a sacrifice to love. So, you know, if there is any of that going on, okay, I feel like time is the answer. Um, you know, if you're dealing with any obsessions or addictions, now might be the time to to focus on that because it feels like something really happy and blissful and joyful wants to come into your life. So if there is a delay here for some reason, you know, it feels like it's more, it's for both of you for healing. For you, it might be healing something that that you're doing on a regular basis that isn't good for you. Remember that devil energy. For them, it's about really finding themselves again, appreciating themselves, finding that energy of self-love for themselves. Again, remember I said with the King of Pentacles, this person tends to be a giver. And this person might have gone through kind of a, a cruddy situation, especially towards the end. And, you know, that's why this person has doubts about possibly what direction they're going in. So I feel like this person needs a little bit of time, okay? But I do feel like they're coming your way. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. Have a great week. Thanks so much. Bye.